Good morning. I have uh, spent another night, beautiful night here in Portland, street camped. The, Portland is like a really lovely city to street camp in. Um, not because it's particularly lenient, although I haven't had any issues, but mostly because like the streets at night are very dark. They don't have very bright lights on the on the streets, and there's all this like greenery, and so many of the neighborhoods are so green. It's just like you smell flowers and it's like a little heaven, you know. So I get the fan going, just blowing in floral scents in on me while I sleep. It's pretty, it's pretty damn good. Um, I meet up with uh, Corbin again. I think I'm gonna try to start heading out of town today. It's always tough when you have friends in town to really say goodbye, but I should keep moving. I'll be back. We've already made plans for me to beach my sailboat up here in uh, one of the beaches here. What do you guys think about that? Like beach meetups where we have a campfire and I beach the boat, and we just like hang out on the beach all evening, like little parties. That'd be kind of cool, right? Anyway, if you want to check that out, actually, because I've started a Facebook page, and I'm going to use Facebook to post most of my stuff, but also um, just to organize like events. So if I do meetups, I'll be organizing it through my Facebook. It's just easier that way. So go check the Facebook out, Finding Simon Facebook. You know, search it, you'll find it. Right on. Let's uh, let's get today started. Yeah, we're gonna start the day off right. Get ourselves a little bit of delicious Portland food before I leave town. <laughs> and uh, yeah, once again, Corbin knows all the best spots. Oh yeah. You need a local a foodie. You need a local foodie. A local foodie. Or a van dweller. Yeah. You kind of a bit of both. Yeah. Half and half. It's uh, admissible. So for those of you who are fairly new to my channel, um, I met up with Corbin and Kelsey about eight months ago. They came to Ottawa. They were doing a van life. Now you lived in your van for how long again? Six months. Six months. So yeah. they really only hit the tip of the iceberg. Like as you see in my channel, like me six months into van life, I was just starting to figure out BLM, National Forest, figuring out how to like research for travel. Travel like so. I have a few questions. First okay. of all, what do you miss the most about the van? What do I miss the most? Uh, I miss, like, every day, you can just pick up and go wherever you want. And you're seeing something new every single day. Like, if you don't like where you're at right now, like, if I don't like where I'm at right now, you just leave and go to a different city yeah, or a different park or... important to remember that you actually have control over that. Yeah. Like, it's hard when you first start set out because you keep telling yeah. people you're going to see things and you're like, I don't actually want to see them sometimes. Right, you're right, yeah. yeah. No, and it's, I don't know, it's cool that you just, like, make your own schedule and you see what you want to see. And, uh, what do you miss the least? What do I miss the least? Oh, man. <laughs> I, I know what you miss the least. He misses his fuel pump the least. Oh he hates yeah. that fuel pump. That was, I mean... That was part of the adventure though. Like I hate the fuel pump, but it taught me a lot, like a lot of lessons. But I probably hate the least uh, finding water. I don't know why that's such a struggle for us. Like just not having fresh water. Eventually we like got like a blue yeah. water tank to supplement and then we were fine. But like looking for water for us was such a challenge. And like you'll notice that on YouTube, like every traveler who's got their vehicle or their whatever it is, sailboat, um, like Jeep, like van, RV, whatever. Everyone has like that one automotive or engine or something part. Yeah. Like sailing on the vagabonds, like their bilge pump. Yeah. Me, it was like that PCM, I think, or oh, the yeah. camshaft position yeah, yeah. sensor that kept frying. Like you, it's the fuel, the fuel pump. pump. Everyone's got something that they just mm, so hate so much. But you know, yeah. you're not done though. You're, you're getting no. back out. Yeah, so we have a lot of travel plans and stuff. We, we don't want to just be like stuck in one place. We can't, like now that we've no. lived in a van, it's like we have to be traveling, we have to be going places. So we have a lot of yeah. plans once in that, store. Once that bug's got you, there's yeah. no turning away. Yeah, yeah. So, But he wanted to start a family. Yeah. Respectable. But we want to travel with our family. And Having you know. a family doesn't mean your travels are over. You just do it differently and you get out there and do it and don't let people tell you, oh, you can't do this with a kid, because you can. Don't let people tell you you can't. Oh. Right. Story. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you, man. <laughs> yeah, it's thanks, Ivan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for breakfast. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> really good.
this is Mount Hood. I have never seen anything so big. I know it's not the biggest mountain in the world or anything, but this thing just is like a monolith. It stands on its own. Check this thing out. Well, it'd be a lot cooler to be camped down at the campground, which is just about a kilometer down the road from where I'm at right now. But because of the snow, it's not quite open yet. I can't believe how much snow there is. This is only 2,500 feet up here, but there's just a boatload of snow. So I guess I'm going pretty far north already. <sighs> I'm having a little bit of dinner and uh, just taking it easy and reflecting on like the last couple days. Saying goodbye to uh, Corbin and Kelsey kind of feels like you know, the end of the van life chapter. It really is beginning of the end. I've only got a little bit longer in this van before I sell it in Vancouver, so I don't know, it, it, it feels like the end of it, but at the same time, like they, you know, just had a daughter and they are itching to get back out on the road and travel themselves. So I can't help but be infected with that new energy of theirs where they're just ready to set out again. And it's got me excited for what's coming up next, so. As much as I'm sad to say goodbye to this fan, because I feel like I finally get to know it. I finally know it now. You know, I finally am confident in it. And uh, especially given all the repairs I've done over the last month. <sighs> anyway, that's all. It's just on my mind. Thought I'd share it a little bit. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow.